Hey, this is DFS Matt, and today we're dropping into the Thursday night football game. We got Atlanta at Carolina. This one's got a 50 point total. Carolina is favored by about two points. And let's dive right into the picks today. So, first of all, I think this is going to be a pass friendly game. Uh, I'm not too heavy on the rushing. And there's a, a little bit of questions regarding Christian McCaffrey, whether he'll be able to play, what's his role going to look like when he's playing with Mike Davis and how that run game is going to go forward. From the looks of things, it looks like they're going to ease him back into the lineup. So they're going to go with a uh, little bit of a split back here. So I'm kind of shying away from that run game right off the bat. So who exactly do I love? I love the passing game here. So in pretty much all my lineups, I'm going to have both Matt Ryan and Teddy Bridgewater. They're both going to be splitting the MVP positions for me because I expect them to at least get a minimum of uh, 10 points just from passing, probably at least uh, 250 yards, minimum of at least one touchdown a piece. So I'm definitely gonna be putting them as fillers in my MVP spots. Now, as I said previously, not a big fan of the run game in this particular matchup, but if you were to push my hand, tell me which, which running back I should pick if I were to put one in my lineup. Definitely Todd Gurley is definitely underpriced. A lot cheaper than Mike Davis and McCaffrey. I probably won't even play any any of them. I'd stick wholly with the Todd Gurley, but that being said, I'm probably not going to play any Todd Gurley in this situation. For my other spots, I'm definitely going to be looking at wide receivers to fill most of the role there. Just to break it down a little bit, I'm going to go from my favorite wide receiver to my least favorite. So I'll run down from the top to the bottom. So first off, DJ Moore is my favorite wide receiver in this matchup, followed by Julio Jones. If he's looking good, he's dealing with a couple of uh, minor injuries. He's got a hip issue and I believe an ankle issue as well. So watch his status. I fully expect him to be playing lined up. I think he was suffering a little bit through an injury last week as well and he was still able to put up a 97 yard day without a touchdown. Uh, but I definitely expect him to be fully active for this one. Now just looking at Julio's totals, uh, he's gone over 100 twice this year, almost got 100 last week, and only two touchdowns this year, so he's definitely due for some more touchdowns. Next up, my uh, next favorite play is Anderson for Carolina. He's almost getting up to about uh, 10 targets per game, so he's getting a lot of usage. He's gone over 103 times so far this year, only one time in the end zone this year, and that was in week one. But he is arguably uh, a uh, WR1 for Carolina, so I expect him to get the kind of usage, and he's priced a little bit cheaper than DJ Moore as well. Next up, I got Ridley. He's uh, pretty expensive. He's the most expensive quarterback on the board. I do expect him to get quite a bit of usage. He'll have a pretty high average, but I don't think he's the boomer bust character you want in your GPP lineups. I am interested in uh, cash, but uh, his price tag makes it kind of not really worth it. Next up, we got Curtis Samuel for Carolina. His results uh, haven't been the greatest. He's getting a couple of runs per game. He's also have uh, mid, about five, six targets per game, uh, roughly. If he can find the end zone once in this game, then he would definitely uh, cover his value for sure. If you're looking for something cheap to price into your lineups, then uh, Curtis Samuel's definitely somebody to look at here. Finally, we got Russell Gage. He's got a knee injury, so he is listed as questionable. Definitely expect him to suit up as well. He hasn't really done much since week one or two where he got a bunch of targets, but ever since then, hasn't really been on the, the radar too much, getting about anywhere from 20 to 40 yards per game, roughly. If you're looking for somebody cheap, I'm not even looking in this direction. Finally, if there's any injury news around Julio Jones, or Russell Gage not able to suit up. You might look at Zacchaeus as a really cheap option. He's only listed at 6,000 on uh, FanDuel. If he is slotted into a, a wide receiver three position, there's a chance he might get up to 10 targets and really pull through on the value. Only priced at about 6,000 on FanDuel. Diving into the tight ends, you got Hayden Hurst and Ian Thomas is the only really viable option. Hayden Hurst is priced up to about 9,500 on FanDuel. I don't expect him to really hit target on that 9.5 points, so I'd fade away from that. Ian Thomas, I don't see he's getting much work. He's only gotten one target the last three weeks. Hasn't really put anything up on the board. Only got one touchdown this year where he's actually coming to value, so someone I'm going to fade away from. So overall, I'm not even looking at kicking. I think they, these are two teams that are going to be reliably getting into the end zone, so I'm not worried about 
them not making their numbers. So to really break it down, I'm really looking at two quarterbacks and three right receivers in most of my lineups, and I may throw in a Todd Gurley from here to there to even out everything. Now to break down my actual lineup, I'll dive into exactly how I build it. Now between Matt Ryan and Brett Bridgewater for your MVP position, I really could go either way. I'm leaning more towards Bridgewater though because he has the rushing potential. He has done 48 yards and scored a rushing touchdown so far this year, whereas uh, Matt Ryan hasn't done too much on the rushing side of things. So with those two positions filled in, we're looking at our three wide receiver positions for my main line. Uh, my primary, my favorite uh, wide receiver is DJ Moore. My second favorite is Julio Jones. So if I take those two right out of the equation, we only have 8K left on DraftKings, which lines up perfectly with my Curtis Samuel pick. And uh, we have some pretty good lineups. So we're looking at Teddy Bridgewater, Curtis Samuel, DJ Moore, Julio Jones, and Matt Ryan. Now let's say there's something wrong with uh, Julio Jones and you want to pivot away from him and you want to look for Calvin Ridley, for example, as your main wide receiver for Atlanta. I'm looking at Teddy Bridgewater, Curtis Samuel, Robbie Anderson, Calvin Ridley, Matt Ryan play. So that'll really fill out your lineup for you. Tell me who you really love in this 30th day night football game. Leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely take a look. If this video was at all helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're looking for some great tips or tricks on helping you to win your daily fantasy contest, make sure to click the next video on this and uh, it will definitely give you some really helpful advice. As always, thanks for watching.